since I finally got a good pressure test on my Tesla battery pack, it was time to move on to the next steps to start getting it back into the car. To start with, I need to remove my pressure testing rig from the battery pack. Then I need to reinstall the plug. Now, the plug that I've got right here is actually just a plain one from the hardware store. Uh, the one that I pulled out, uh, the threads weren't looking so great on it, so I thought it was time for a new one. Now, the hardware store plug, though, has an outward connection on it instead of a female internal connection like the original plug did. Also, it's a little longer, which I didn't think was going to matter at all, but when I put the battery pack back into the car, the plug actually did catch a little bit on the rear left fender liner. Not the end of the world, but I definitely recommend using the very short plug. So I'm now going to add some coolant to the battery pack. What I've done is I'm using this, uh, the matching part of the Rapid Mate coolant connector, and I got some hoses on it. And I just have it going up to a funnel, so I'm going to uh, beer bong the battery pack full of coolant. Now, I didn't necessarily have to fill the battery pack with coolant right now. I mean, no matter what, I'm still going to have to add at least some later once the battery pack is in the car and run a air bubble purge. But by doing this right now, it's going to save me time and work later. Oops. Okay, I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to hear this, but I was getting some really nice gurgles out of here. Oh, wow, it's full. <laughs> Why did that take less than I thought it would? Okay, I'm not sure why this happened, but uh, this was showing that it was full, and I only put in about two-thirds of a gallon of coolant, and I thought that would be nowhere near enough to completely fill it, fill it up, because what I originally pulled out was just over a gallon. So this is the old coolant right here. Um, I was put in new coolant. So I think probably what happened is there's enough air pockets in here that took up that extra space. So when I get the battery back in the car, um, I'll run the pump so that everything circulates through and we'll get the air bubbles out of there and add a little bit more coolant. The next step is to reinstall the ceramic blanket. This isn't exactly difficult, just lay out the ceramic blanket on top of the battery pack. I think I got it backwards. <laughs> Make sure it's facing the right direction. The main thing really is that there's these six holes in the middle of the battery pack and you just need to make sure that those through bolt holes in the pack line up with the holes in the ceramic blanket. Next was reinstalling the plastic sheet. Uh, this really is just a big sheet of plastic with uh, holes in the right places. It goes over the ceramic blanket to keep that from getting wet, and it seals onto the top of the battery pack. Uh, the first thing I did was just got rid of any anything that kept it from laying flat. There was a little bit of double-sided tape on there still, and maybe a little bit of the butyl tape. I got it to lay out flat and in the correct orientation, and then I folded back the edges so that I could do the next step. I've got a roll of butyl tape and I'm gonna run a perimeter of this. The butyl tape is pretty easy to work with because it comes on a roll and it has this wax paper backer to it. So I just made sure to roll out a perimeter and stick it down really well. And then I could fold the plastic back out onto it of course, making sure that the holes in the plastic lined up with these through bolt holes in the middle of the battery pack. So I'm getting ready to put the plastic cover on, uh, but these through bolts, uh, which are the same as up, up here, there's actually like a little adhesive there. But since I'm reusing these bolts, they're not really that sticky. 
So I'm just putting some extra butyl tape on there just to make sure that it's sealed up uh, between the plastic cover and through into that bowl to help keep, uh, uh, keep condensation out basically. So I made sure to get a good seal at those holes around those through bolts. And then after that, it was just a matter of peeling back the wax paper backer, folding the plastic out over the butyl tape and pressing it down. There were a few spots where I had maybe just like a little tear on the outside edge of the plastic. And I just made sure that uh, that was within where the butyl tape was. So that's it then. It looks like the battery's all ready to go back in the car. So that's what we'll do in the next video. I hope you like these videos. Please like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, stay charged up.